All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Since you just passed her down, we're looking at some nightly news here. Listen to what's been re- getting ready to another be said. Another day, Listen. another million dollars spent on weapons to be used against Americans. This time, the Department of Homeland Security signals its intent to spend half a million dollars purchasing pepper spray projectiles, pepper spray launchers, and riot expansion kits. Now, let me go ahead and chime in on this real quick. You know, I always got something to add to stuff like this. Do you remember when Barack Hussein Obama? No, you don't remember. You don't remember. So let me refresh your memory. You remember when Barack Hussein Obama had mentioned something about we need a private standing army. That's what we need. We need in in this country. Other than the military, we need a civilian force other than the military in in order to take care of issues here at home. This is what we've got going on here. I keep telling you, the Department of Homeland Security, everybody else is afraid to say it. But what it is, it is the government's private standing army against us, the civilian population, or the people of the United States of America. That's exactly what it is. They don't want to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. And that's the reason why that they're arming themselves to the hill. Because other than that, they have no other purpose that they're really truly serving. But let's get back here to this news source here for a second. Let's see what else is being said. Now, although the weapons are being purchased by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the document makes it clear that they will be used to train federal protective service agents. Wow. Oh, in other words, the same organizations that arm the Mexican cartel in, in Fast and Furious. I mean, do y'all see what's going on here, or am I the only one that's running around that is informed, that understands exactly what's taking place and what's going on? Your country is getting ready to wage war against you. They're already doing it financially, economically. Um, anyway, let, let me go ahead, because you know, if I don't get to this right here, I'll be butting in every five seconds. And according to a video demonstration, the TAC-700 pepper spray launcher has a strong psychological influence on the people it's being used against because it's so loud and sounds like an automatic machine gun. Obviously has a lot of unique benefits in that you can control the rate of fire. You have different types of rate of fire, including a three-round burst option with this system. So it's a good option for agencies that are looking for higher firepower, situations where they anticipate delivering a lot of projectiles, or situations where they want to have that extra psychological... Oh, hold on, at ease for a moment. Did did y'all just see that demonstration? Basically, that's for riot control. Do you understand what I mean? That's what it's all about, riot control. If you notice, they're not trying to control any riots overseas while we allegedly so-called after the Taliban. Um, And, uh, of course, you know, we did bury uh, uh, the infamous, um, what's that cat name? Bin Laden, Osama Bin Laden did see, if you can believe that. If you do, I got a mailbox on Mars. But anyway, um, this is all about riot control against the the people who are going to be rioting or so-called protesting. Let me give you wisdom again. If you go back a few of my videos, I tell you clearly how to protest. And the way they're protesting today, that ain't it. That ain't how you do it. That is not how you do it. So in order to preserve yourself, you keep yourself out of these population centers where these people, these uh, you see that these the so-called law enforcement today, they have no rule of law that they're going by. They uh, they don't even go by the law. Every single day we see them acting like they're above the law. They don't have to submit to the law. Uh, they break them on a daily basis. And, and even on a routine traffic stop, they lie to you routinely, just flat out lie to you. And they present themselves as if they're some type of honorable human beings or it's an honorable system. Stop. Playing the game, inform yourself. Let's go ahead and finish this story. Maybe. Advantage when they deploy this in the field. As you can imagine, just hearing that discharge is a strong psychological influence on the people that it's being used against. Well, luckily, those pepper spray guns weren't being used yesterday. Protesters in California were demonstrating against the killing of a 13 year old boy last week by a sheriff deputy. He shot the boy seven times in 10 seconds while carrying a plastic rifle while he was walking down the street. But instead of pointing the... Seven times in 10 seconds? That is some serious fear. A sheriff's deputy, one who's supposed to be allegedly so-called trained. A 13-year-old boy. Now, that is excessive use of force. And I'll tell you what, won't nothing happen to him either. Won't nothing happen happened to him either. It's the people. 
that is actually going to have to actually get out and, and um, do more than protesting. I'm telling you, we're going to do a whole lot more than protesting. You know, the word that everybody is scared of and they're fearful of in the day and hour we living in called revolution. You let this garbage and mess and let it continue down. Now children are dying on our streets simply because of these police are fearful. I'm telling you, whatever they're doing, whatever briefings that they're giving them on a daily basis, weekly basis, or in that academy, they're teaching these police officers to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't worry about it. You go ahead and shoot. We got your back. You'll be acquitted on every charge. You ain't got to worry about it. Just kill them all and let y'all sort them out. That's the way they, that's the attitude that they have. Because we got people dying unjustly in this country by an unjust system, which is ridiculous. But anyway, let me go ahead. Blame at that trigger-happy sheriff's deputy. Gun grabbers are blaming toy guns. An mm. attorney with a gun control group said police have a hard enough job without also having to be able to quickly determine whether a gun is real or not real. Now, California already requires fake guns to be painted in bright colors. But now State Senator Kevin DeLeon wants to extend that to BB and pellet guns as well. Now, never mind the fact that the deputy who shot 13-year-old Lopez seven times was a firearms instructor and range master who trained his law enforcement colleagues in the proper use of force for nearly two decades. And he should have been able to tell that it wasn't a real gun. No, it's not his fault at all. It's the fact that toy guns aren't made in hot pink Nerf foam. And they're not just coming after your toy guns, mm. but ammunition as well. Mm. Gun control more and more is turning into a war on ammunition, leaving no doubt that this is about total disarmament. Gun control groups are pushing for background and registration of ammunition and not just guns. Another new front in the war on ammunition is environmental regulation. California just banned lead bullets for hunting, citing environmental protection. The Center for Biological Diversity has lobbied the EPA unsuccessfully so far to regulate ammunition as part of the Toxic Substances Control Act. But now the only ore to lead producer in America, the largest in the Western world, has been shut down by EPA regulation. For over 20 years, the company had been researching a wet chemical process and investing $30 million to replace smelting. The new process would have eliminated 99% of all current land, air, and water pollution releases but EPA's regulatory uncertainty and estimated expense of $100 million to convert caused the company to finally throw in the towel. It's not just ammunition that's disappearing. American industry, American jobs are being regulated out of existence as well. Now, lead's still going to be manufactured in China, but it'll be done without any environmental oversight. It'll be scarce. It'll be expensive. We'll have fragile supply lines. There's more to the shutdown of Doe Run than just shutting down American industry and exporting jobs. It's part of a multi-pronged attack on ammunition, drying up the market by hoarding all ammunition, shutting down the market with background checks, registration, and banning of online sales, using environmental regulation to ban the use and manufacture of lead. And after we can no longer manufacture ammunition domestically, we have the UN Arms Trade Treaty to stop the importation of ammunition. But if you look at the multiple ways they're trying to remove all ammunition, not just certain guns they believe are dangerous. There's no question that this is about all-out gun control. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, my, my answer to this, I, I do have a solution. You know, I never give uh, an, an opinion without having a solution. And, and this is what we ought to do. This is it, literally what we ought to do. We ought to take all the people that hate guns that are against guns and stick them in three states. California, Illinois, and New York. And then you know what we should do from there? Incinerate all three states and everybody else that's still left in it. And that way we don't have to worry about any more of this gun control legislation because all the people that are already dead, you don't have to worry about these liberals getting in and trying to manipulate everybody else's conscience. Let me tell you something. Notice, it's only environmentally unsafe when you and I possess the ammunition, but as long as the Department of Homeland Security has all this lead and stuff, then it's in, it, it, it is not a threat to the environment because they're buying up more ammunition than all the Americans put together. Guns are no good without ammo. Remember that. Uh, what are you going to do when we get finished shooting and just throw the gun at them? No, you better go ahead and stock up right now. This is what this is. This is a shot across the bow to let all of us know who understand it not only do we need to be stacking up on gold and silver and food, but we need to be stacking up on ammo as well. There's a war coming. It's already done started. 
And only those who are prepared are going to survive. That's the truth. It's true straightway. Have a good day.